Hi guys. Hey. First of all, I'm excited to see you all sitting together. This is a big deal. You guys have taken a Broadway show that is iconic and everyone, you know, knows of it and you try you, you're putting it on the big screen. Yeah. So on a degree of like one to ten in terms of pressure, were you all feeling lots of pressure? Team being the highest? I Yes. Yeah, I think you you have you had the most. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Jennifer's got like the torch song of the musical like memory. And, uh, and Francesca is the lead, so yeah, I think in every that scene. maybe there was a bit of pressure yeah. there. Yes. We are just like personally like what are you for two a good doing? time. Yeah. You're, you're just having we just some fun? wanted to be cats, mm -hmm. you know, wear that the outfits really it. and um yeah. That was our whole thing. That song by the way, when they talk pressure, no kidding. I mean, this is one of those that every great singer has sung it. Wow. You stood up there with your cat outfit on <laughs> and brought people to tears. Thank you. Tell me about what, what, what it was like in that moment. It was definitely emotional, um, scary a bit. Yeah. But I, I tried to be in the moment and just live Grizabella's story, tell her story. It felt really real because all the cats were around me. Yeah. And yeah, it, it kind of helped me in a way. But what? up until that point, I was like, oh my God, I have to sing memory. Hey, why me? You know? <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. it, was, it was literally a showstopper. Thank I was in a screening you. and there was a security guard behind me who was crying during that song. Wow. Yeah. And I thought that just moved people to their core. Francesca, I mean, this cast on this movie is nuts. We have Rebel, we have Jennifer, we have Taylor, we have Judy Dench, we have Ian McKellen. And then it says featuring, as you're watching the movie open, Francesca Hayward. I mean, what did that feel like? I mean, I still can't believe it, just being in this lineup right now, you know, sat next to these amazing ladies. Um, but yeah, I just tried not to like dwell on it too much, maybe, and just try and treat everyone like they're just normal people. <laughs> Y'all, how was she as a dancer? She's the best dancer I've ever seen in my life. I thought yeah. she was flying. I don't know how, how, Frankie, how you did it, like, every day. So how long did you shoot for? Long days, yeah, like, like 12 so hours. Six months? Or? Six months, yeah. Yeah, Des dancing her butt off every day. Brave soldier. Yeah. Every day. Because it's and even on her days off, she dances for hours and hours. What? Yeah. But one of my favorite things about this entire process is that it takes people who... I'd say we all have our comfort zone. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Singing, yeah. acting, comedy, dancing, and we had to do all the other things too. So right. if you're whatever your comfort zone was, you had to learn all the other skill sets. You had to really if you're an actor, you had to learn to dance and sing. If you're a singer, you had to learn to dance and act. If you're a dancer, you had to learn to act and sing. It just was it right. was very yeah. much a challenge for all of us, but we could appreciate the other people's talent because chances are it was a talent that we were having to acquire and learn very quickly. I love that. You're right, because everyone has their part, but Rebel, you sang. You sang out loud and proud. <laughs> was that you love that? <laughs> I mean, um, I, I just love singing in general because it's so joyful. Yeah. Um, and but I think when people watch the film, you've got to realize, like, this is not like other movie musicals because it's 100% live, and that is very, very rare. And even when we're off camera, like, I'm sure you even had to sing Memory off camera. You had to sing yes. it live. Oh, like, you, you did? Could, yes. You could not phone this in. Yes. Um, and so, I mean, for me, I think myself and James Corden, we were kind of there to bring some of the comedy into Cats. Yeah, they did. Uh, <laughs> and we, we tried hard because the source material is T.S. Eliot poetry. So it's um, not exactly hilarious, <laughs> and we had to like. So you, did you improvise? Were you like? Yeah, you our did? director Tom Hooper was just loving it, and on everyone we got to the cameras got to roll, and you know we got to try things. I even improvised with the music, and then at times I would see Andrew Lloyd Webber like in the shadows, and I'd be, <laughs> he like freaked Sorry. me out because I was like, is he getting upset because I'm I'm changing some of the iconic music? But oh my god, they were so collaborative. Everyone was like really collaborative and it was such a fun now, set. Now, talk to us about Cat School, because I'm so into this, I need to know. <laughs> Everyone's intrigued about no, Cat School. Cat School is nuts. Okay, Taylor, take, a look, take me to Cat School. Okay, Cat School is something that you could do as much of or as little of as you wanted. Um, so depending on what you wanted to do, I was in Cat School a lot. You loved it? <laughs> a lot. 
It's basically, you know, I mean, you're crawling around on the floor, you're studying videos and pictures of cats, you're learning about their anatomy, their impulses, their instincts, how they sense things, how they move, how they walk, blah, blah, blah. Because we were told you guys are not going to be cats walking around on all fours oh. and you're not going to be humans standing up the whole time, right. which you, mm -hmm. you had to learn that first and she had to do it the most because she's the lead. But the, the physicality. Yes, you have to, yeah, you have to find your own way of, yeah, literally not being like this and not being on all fours. So thoughts. teach me, because I thought, what I thought was weird, just teach me something y'all learned in cat school that well, I can learn right here. we would right have here. to get you in the room and we'd have to get your shoes off and have you in like, you know, some athletic But is there any, <laughs> like, any, yeah, any, any, really go full cat yeah. or zero percent yeah. cat. You, you know what I mean? We're can serious you give me five about percent cat? Okay. Are give are me you, something. Are you ready to smell our butts? I was about to say, <laughs> what? you have to use your... Yeah. We have to do that. Sniff each other's. Yeah. You have to really like, like sniff, sniff yeah, each sniff other around. because like your nose. Yeah. Leaves. The sense of smell is very important yeah. to the cat. Yes. What about the licking was going on? There's a lot of licking. I licked Jason Derulo. <laughs> yeah. But that wasn't in the script. Yeah, I didn't even have to do that. Is there anything know. that you have yeah. to do when you're just sitting? Because I was watching the faces and I, I thought often, there's Judy Dench. She's because she's often sitting very proudly up there, mm -hmm. and you all are doing things to your faces and Here's licking. Here's the thing: we we did it all. Whatever it was that we we hissed, we licked our paws. <laughs> yeah. We have we have not seen this I've film. Seen this we have no too. idea what yeah. they've included. Uh, they could have included all of that. Yeah, and you're doing while well, you're doing it, you're helping like you're like surely they're not going to use this, but they could have the licking. We'll now, see tonight. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Now, oh Taylor, God. you have two cats at home. So when I you got, got three now. Three. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So when you got home, did you look at your cats a little closer and go like, what? Okay, what are they doing? What's that smooth move? Yeah, my, I looked no. at them and I was yeah. like, you you can't help me because they're so lazy and and like my favorite thing about my cats is that they're so round <laughs> and that they are so able to relax at all times. All time. Yeah, and that's not m the kind of cat I was playing. No, so you I were, was playing yeah. a really athletic, like mischievous cat, and my cats are just like, they're like, hey, like you know, <laughs> if you throw us some treats, if it's within this area, I'll get it. But I don't know if I want to get off the couch. <laughs> Jennifer, you got a couple of cats too. I do. Yeah, a cavity and Grizabella. Did they teach you anything? Well, uh, you know what? I got them after the film. While mm -hmm. we were filming, I told Tom Hooper, I said, I'm going to get two cats, and I'm going to name them Grizabella and McCavity. And oh. I did. But I grew up with cats as a kid. Oh, you did? I realized I didn't understand them. But once I went to cat school, now I can get a, I got a better sense of, like, okay. how they work. Rebel, can you teach me one thing about cat school? Teach me one thing. It's hot. When <laughs> we were filming the movie, <laughs> um, our cat mistress, Miss Sarah, would run in and give me some direction, and she'd just go, more cat, more, more cat. cat. <laughs> yeah, we would always have to be okay. walking this line between less yeah. dance, more cat, cat, more human, less human, yeah. more cat. Yes. Um, but one thing, okay, yeah. so when humans walk, they use opposite arms, yeah. opposite legs. Yeah. But when cats walk, they use the same arm, same leg. That's ah. a good one. So if you do that, you can ah. do it kind of sitting in your chair. Ah. It's just like, mm. Ah. Oh, that does, yeah. Oh. I see what, I mm. the face. And then you start getting into the, so wait, I don't know the what that face was. <laughs> cat face. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, it took me days after finishing the film to get rid of that, doing that. So you had to do that a lot because, mm. guys, it's not CGI, the movement. It is all 100% real and it's the right. best dancers in the world doing this really yes, insane thing. So of this group, if we're going to play a little cat game, which of you is most likely to hide under a bed for four hours? <laughs> Funnily enough, we haven't talked about that. And, um, uh, <laughs> what if you were to guess? Are you talking about our cat characters? Just you. Just you, just you four right here. Just me hiding under yeah. a bed. I can't fit under there anymore. No, it's not you. <laughs> I've tried recently. Who has the most convincing meow of the group? Should we see? Mm-hmm. Ready? Meow. Uh, meow. 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 Thank Francesca. Yeah, Francesca. 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 Again, the lead naturally yes, yeah. has, has nailed yeah. that one. That's why one. she got the lead role. <laughs> right. uh, exactly. Yeah. Have to we all auditioned for it. In your audition? <laughs> yes. we did. We just did, did you that. have to meow in your audition? Or? Um, no, but I should have done. It would be yeah. much quicker. <laughs> well, one thing about Francesca is that she, she learned to sing for this. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, I know you'd sung when you were younger, but it's like she's a, the best ballerina. And, yeah. in the land well, so it's like she she learned to sing for her role and um 
you know, that that's... I was wondering if you had to sing in your audition. Yeah, a lot. A lot. Yeah. Well, one of the songs yeah. you had to sing is, it happens to be a song that you wrote, Taylor, yeah. nominated for a Golden Globe. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. To write an iconic, <laughs> to, for this iconic show, to write another song is a big, big deal. How did you introduce that song to Francesca? Oh, well, I'd watched her for what felt like, I think, weeks. Se over several months, I'd come in and watched her performances. <laughs> on set. Yeah, on set. <laughs> no, I watched her in her apartment. Did I not tell you that? Just through the window. There's a nice bit of shrubbery outside of her flat, and it's really, really easy to hide in there. She didn't know I was there for ages. No, I would go on set, and I would watch. This is a really important part of the story. Thank you so much. Oh, this, that's great. That would look great in print. Um, I would watch her on set, yeah. <laughs> dancing, performing. She knew I was there. Yeah. It was all fine. Um, but I just really wanted to get a grasp on her character because she's, she, you know, Victoria, the character, is the lead beautiful mm -hmm. ballerina in the show Cats, but in the original show she doesn't have a song and we never hear from her, mm. which is something that Tom and Andrew and I both... We all three of us thought like that that should change. That's the one thing missing. Mm. Um, and so when Andrew and I ended up writing this song, the only way to really play it for her because we were just rushing. We had written it the day mm -hmm. before. I came in and we had the sheet music made up and and so we had to, you know, sing it live for her. And so she had to kind of sit there on the couch while Andrew Andrew was at the piano and I was serenading her. It's a dreadful day. What, Terrible. Uh, what, what did that feel like? I mean, just, I've had so many pinch me moments in this whole film, but I think that was, for me, like one of the most surreal days, having a private concert from Taylor of a song that yeah. you'd written for me, for my character. <laughs> it's just Aww, amazing. That's an amazing, congrats. And do you remember you asked me at the end, you said, um, is that okay <laughs> yeah. for me? <laughs> I, know, I really, really wanted to know. <laughs> she, yeah. have, she has to sing it, and her singing it got us a Golden Globe nomination. Wow. Well, you all are, that, that is awesome. Now, I, I got to see a little bit of the movie before it was totally finished, and I just found it so fascinating that you guys had black dots all over your faces, and you were, you were putting out these incredible performances looking like that at someone else who was looking like that. Mm -hmm. How tough was it, like, not to crack up and, like, you know, to stay in character? Jennifer? I feel like we were so taken with our imaginations mm -hmm. that I think we kind of forgot that we just had dots on our faces. Did you? I think we found our inner cats and became that in the moment because I don't really recall seeing dots on any of their really? faces. No. no. So it wasn't weird? We were like in full character. I this think. is one of those things you really have to fully commit. Yes. yes. If anybody was there that was like kind of like, oh, I'm trying to be cool, yeah. then like don't do no. the movie Cats. No. Right. Like, <laughs> right. Be don't do like musical or theater. Or yeah. yeah. It is <laughs> surreal. There's no room for ambivalence in the movie Cats. Yeah. <laughs> Or skepticism. And I guess because we work in 12 hours a day, you very quickly get used to the suits and how, how we looked when filming. Mm. Like, uh, like it's weird how easily... But what about when Judy Dench was there? Was there any extra, like... Because she's kind of a legend. Mm. Was there a little she extra, is. like... You know... She's the nicest legend. Though. She is. Yeah. Yeah. She I loved is. it. She has to wear... Um, she's 85 years old, and she has to wear this coat that was, like, 80 pounds. Yes. Yeah. And she would bitch about it a lot. And I was just like, oh, my God, Judy Dent, she's, like, bitching about, about her coat. Like, I was, I was just intrigued by everything she did or said, and I got we to sit one. next to her one day at rehearsals and was like... I was just, I mean, I'm totally in awe of her. Yeah. So, yeah. I heard she also did a kindness. Taylor, were you talking about some kind of candy on the set? She what, got me what? candy. She got you candy? Yeah. It was the most amazing thing. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was just talking near her about this kind of candy that they have in the UK called squashies. <laughs> And I was like, this is legit candy. Okay, let me talk about it. It's gummy. It tastes like a combination of strawberries and raspberries, also cherries. It's pink and white. It's all the things I love. I was ranting. It was really late. I was yeah. ranting about the candy for a while. And the next day in my dressing room, I walked into the trailer and there were like 10 packets oh. of this candy with oh. a signed headshot 
from Judy. What? No. Wow. She signed a headshot. Yeah, it was the most wow. amazing. The it was the most romantic surprise. I love that. <laughs> it was incredible. So your your birthday cake had cats on it, it which did. was super cute. My cats, my three cats. Oh, those were your cats? Those are my cats. Okay. Those are sugar versions of them. So I was thinking, you know, I'm watching you and you're sitting here among these super strong women. And I, I there's nothing I love more than interviewing strong women. And I have to tell you, I was really struck when you gave your speech at the decade of the year um, when, when you got that big award. And I said, look at Taylor, mm -hmm. like back straight, like went for it. Thank you. Tell me about that moment, because I'm sure people said to you, don't use it for that. Like, just say thank you, do your thing. You stood there and you had something to say. Describe that moment for me. Well, I think as women, we can be thankful for the wonderful things that we've been given and we, we can be thankful for our good fortune and there are always moments for that but if we're really living complex lives we show the other things too um, and especially if the things we're going through can and will affect the next generation of artists people in music women in music um, and just people out there who who should know their worth and should know that they can speak out about things that they're going through and I always use a rule of thumb of like is what I'm going through going to help somebody else or is this just me and if it's mm. just me I usually don't say anything but if it's if it's going to help someone else and it's something that mm. I see as truly beneficial to other people I think it's important to express yourself and in music you know as women we need to have each other's backs and I think that we're in a place right now in time where I'm seeing that happen so much mm -hmm. and it makes me really happy did you what what kind of reaction did you get from women in the room afterwards after that speech I was right on a plane. Uh, I took a red-eye yeah. flight. I had my birthday the next day. Mm -hmm. I played at Z100 Jingle Ball at Madison Square mm -hmm. Garden, and I turned 30 yeah. that night at midnight. There was a lot, a lot going, going on. on. Um, and all I can hope for is just to like try to help. All you can do is, I had people who've helped me. I have people who help and support me now. I want women to know that I, I help and support them, and whether that's advocating or speaking out, I'm, I'm there. I have their backs, too. So a lot of go girl going here. Says a lot. I know. Sometimes you got to stand up and say it, just like that. That was a big. That was a big day. Thank you. Um, so you guys, if you you know you play cats, you have. Mm -hmm. Let's pretend you had you had nine lives. Is there what's the next thing that you would like to do in your life, Rebel? Play a dog. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I know. Is we, yeah. This year I played like a brothel madam, a Nazi, a cat. Uh, <laughs> And people say I'm not versatile. Come on. No one says like, that. Yeah, people say that. I'm like, um, but, mm -hmm. but gosh, but I'm, mm -hmm. I'm doing a lot of stuff behind the camera yeah. now, um, writing movies yeah. and producing movies. Uh, two movies that I produced came out also in 2019, uh, which I'm really proud wow. of. Wow. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm looking to do a lot more different things mm -hmm. in 2020. I'm really looking forward to it. I know we've got Aretha Franklin sitting here. Yes. That's, that's, yeah, that's not a big deal at all. You know what, I'm going to sit with that for a while because that's a huge challenge. So I, I guess that would be my thing. You yeah. Know, playing it's Aretha Franklin. I love that. Queen of Soul. Taylor, how's your life going to be different coming, going forward, do you think? Um, I think that I'm just going to keep making music and taking challenges. One thing with doing Cats is that it was a challenge in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. um, and I, and I took the opportunity and said, like, I need to dislocate the end result w with, from the experience yeah. because I was like, the only thing I have control over is the experience and is it going to enrich my life mm -hmm. and is it going to be fun and is it going to be an adventure? And I made the decision to do it based on the fact that it was going to be a challenge and it was going to be an adventure. And I think continuing to make decisions from that place of, like, take chances, mm -hmm. try new things. Sure. It, Things that are going to make your life more exciting are things you should say yes to. So hopefully I'll just keep, you know, doing that. I love that. Miss hmm. Francesca. <laughs> I mean, I just never even imagined that I would have had this opportunity at all. So just to taught me really just, yeah, be open for loads more things. You know, I feel very lucky. And I love my job in the Royal Ballet. But I've also loved, you know, leaping into the film world. So, yeah, maybe we'll see. I think we're going to see a lot more Francesca. Oh, Do yeah. you all think oh, yeah. so? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely.